I've been wanting to do a video, just just a girl talk video on on this subject for a while. And the subject is just, you know, relationships, you know? I've had my share of relationships in. I don't even I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. At this point, I don't know what to say. All I can say is I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready to be somebody's wife. Like, I'm ready. I'm ready. Like, I know I'm still young. I know I'm 26. I got plenty of time. But honestly, I just feel like <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. Just ready. It. How does one be ready with no partner, or you know, you can't without finding the right relationship? I'm that type of person that I'm a very dominant female in my whole my whole aspect of life i'm a very dominant female i know what i want i get what i want how i want it you know and i don't ask for handouts you know i work my ass off and i get it myself but in my relationships i'm very submissive i can honestly say that i'm very submissive in my relationships i'm one of those people that Say if there's a problem or an issue or anything in my relationship. And it could be the other person's problem. I'm the one that's always willing to do the change and to put the effort in to make, you know, to be whatever person they need me to be in order for the situation to work. And I know not everybody's perfect. I know not everybody's perfect, but honestly, honestly, I can't get any more perfect. I can't. I can't be any more perfect and and still not be enough. I can't. I'm sick of being in relationships where I give them everything. I give them everything. I do everything. Like there's nothing like this person couldn't want for anything, and I'm still not enough. It's still not enough. <laughs> always not enough even though I'm the one willing to make the changes even though it's not me that has to put the change in I don't even as most of you guys know I was in a relationship for a very long time um four years I was in a relationship with a young man that had a child you know I'm not even gonna say I played stepmommy. I was a mother to this child from the age of two to six. And it was to the point where it felt like I was a single mom. I felt like I was a single mom. And the crazy part about that is I don't have any kids. So why do I feel like a single mom? I did everything for this little boy, everything. Get him up for school in the morning, get him dressed, feed him, drop him off at school. I'm going to the parent-teacher conferences. I'm picking him up. I'm bringing him home. I'm doing homework. I'm cooking dinner. I'm running the bath water. Like, I'm doing everything. And then in that situation, I'm still not enough. I just don't give enough. Now ask one thing. Just ask one thing. Like just, just be real with me. I don't get any respect. I, it was. That's that situation. I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even know what I'm talking about. And I suck. 
um, I do a lot of settling because I don't like I don't like being alone. I don't like being alone. I don't like being alone. I don't like being single. I don't like being single. So I jump from one relationship and then I quickly find myself in another one because I don't like being alone. And I don't like being alone because I don't have any friends. Now, granted, I have many friends. I have, I have many friends and I have many associates. I have one best friend but she lives out of state so it's not as if like i can hang out with her and go to her house and chill or whatever like that but outside of that everybody is just like business relationships and stuff you know i don't have and when i say i don't have friends i don't have friends that i like i don't have people that i can hang out with you know what i'm saying so you know i value being in a relationship because it makes me feel like it makes me feel like a, a normal human being it makes me feel like a normal 20 something year old girl because you know I sit here and I watch Snapchat and I'm watching everybody else live their lives and have so much freaking fun. Wishing that I had a group of friends to go do the same thing. And don't get me wrong, I am the queen of doing stuff by myself, but who wants to do stuff by themselves? Who wants to do that? So when I get in a relationship, you are my best friend. Like you are my best friend. Like you're the first person, you're the, you're the first person that I'm thinking about doing something with and you're the last, you're just, you're just the first for everything. When I get in a relationship, even when it comes to family events or anything like that, I could have like a family event and then, you know, my partner would hit me up and be like, oh, I want to see you. I will cancel everything. I will, I will cancel everything to be around that person. And then it's still never enough. But the, the thing that hurts a little bit more, too, about the situation, you know, I met a friend we were having a conversation and you know he was basically tr basically telling me that he feels as though like you know I settle in all of my relationships you know I'm just settling because I, I don't like it's the idea of being alone that I just don't like so I rush into a relationship with anybody that's willing to give me you know a relationship basically but he said what are the qualifications that you're looking for in a relationship and he asked me that he said everybody has a standard everybody has a checklist of things that they're looking for when it comes to their ultimate partner now the crazy thing is we talked about this probably two months ago and the crazy thing is every day it's been bothering me because although i'm ready i'm ready i'm ready I'm ready to be somebody's wife. I'm ready to be somebody's wife. I don't know what I'm looking for in my partner. Will it be man or woman? I don't know. I can't. I don't know. Every day I get up and it bothers me and I'm like, I can't. I don't know. There's only one thing that I can say that I'm looking for. Like one thing and that is communication. I feel like in all of my relationships, all of my relationships, they never work because the communication is not there. And the crazy thing is not the communication on my part. I'm a very open person. When there's something that bothers me, I can't hold it in. I can't hold it in. I have to express it. I can't, I can't bottle it up. Especially for dating, I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything. I'm not gonna do anything to kiss your ass. I'm gonna tell you how it is. But then for some reason, there's still always this lack of communication. Just, just talk to me. Just Talk to me. There's something wrong. Just talk to me. That's the only thing. I can't. I can't. It bothers me that I don't know what else. What else am I looking for my partner to do? And I feel is that that's because, like, because I am a dominant woman, and I know what I want, and I don't ask for handouts. I feel like that's why I don't know what I want in a partner. Because at the end of the day, I don't. I don't expect anything in my relationship. I don't expect. I don't expect my partners to do anything or give anything or I don't expect them to do anything. And I've been asking a couple people, you know, you know, to ask everybody else, like, you know, what are you looking for in a relationship? You know, maybe to give me some ideas, you know, and everybody's everybody's, you know, every everybody's checklist sounds really good, but it's still like hmm. I can do with that, I can do without that. Yeah, that sounds nice, but I mean, I could care less, you know, like, how am I ready to be somebody's wife when I don't know? I don't have a criteria for a partner, so that's what made me realize, like, yeah, maybe I am settling because, I, 
You just take anything. So I guess I can be a little honest. We're not gonna say any names. You guys didn't even know this person. But I was just recently in a relationship and it was a very awkward relationship. It was almost as if we weren't in a relationship. Like, I had to ask to do everything because this person felt as though I was bossy and I've never been told that I was bossy or I told them what to do. But we're gonna, I'm gonna give you one scenario. This particular person bought me a toothbrush to keep at their house. So okay, you keep a toothbrush for me at your house. When I stay at your house, I'm gonna use the toothbrush and your toothpaste. But this person just felt as though I was taking upon myself and doing what I want because I didn't ask to use the toothpaste. Now, that shit sounds crazy as hell to me. I shouldn't ask to use the tooth. I shouldn't have to ask to use your fucking toothpaste if you bought me a toothbrush to keep in your house. You know what I'm saying? Like, this person wanted me to ask. Like, I'm no longer a guest in your house. You know, we've been dating six months. If if I need a towel to take a shower, I know where the towels are. I'm just going to get up and get a towel. But no, this person needed me to ask for everything. Allow this person the opportunity to say yes or no. You know what I'm saying? Like... Even like you give me keys to your house, but then you get upset when I use the keys to the house. Like, you know, I'm on my way to your house. You know, I'm on my way. So if you know I'm on my way, when I get here, I'm just going to use your keys and come inside. No. When you get here, call and say you're outside. I'll let you in. The keys are for when I'm not home for you to come in. But I, tr I transform, you know, I... Make sure I ask for everything. I ask. I shouldn't have to ask permission to do stupid shit. I, sh I shouldn't. But because, you know, I transform from my relationships because, you know, I just try to be that perfect person. And it's still not enough. It's still not enough. Like. I just hate being alone. And I want to take the time. I want to take this time to myself to really reflect and explore. My mom's one of those big people too that's like, you shouldn't be in a relationship. My mom doesn't believe that I should be in a relationship. She just thinks that I should date around. Like, just date around. You have plenty of options. Just date around. Float around. There's plenty of fish in the sea. Explore and see your different avenues but for me especially in boston boston is such a small place and you guys know when you grow up in whatever city you grow up in you start realizing that the town is wicked small and everybody knows everybody and you can't just date around nowadays without people thinking that you're a hoe or you're a thought or you're just sleeping around with everybody like it's really hard to do that and then it's like as women in general it's really hard too because it's like then when you have the perfect person come along this person might be everything you know might tell you the right thing may make you feel a certain way but then at the end of the day there's something about them that you're just not attracted by like i may not necessarily be attracted to you but you're everything that i you know you're you're everything that that i need you're you're everything that i deserve but it's like i'm not attracted to you so it's like you know we go with the asshole down the street because we're attracted to that person like i said i don't even know what this freaking video is about i just feel like i just need a bit because i'm thinking i don't have any freaking friends and my friend is not answering the phone right now so i don't have anybody to talk to so i'm just gonna i don't know and it's like even though my my this last relationship that's like over today we got into an argument because this person was gone for work training for six weeks and they finally came home and i had asked this particular person oh you know can we do date night when you come home and this person was like yeah we can do date night that's fine we planned it for two weeks that we were gonna have date night as soon as this person got home and then it's like as soon as this person got home all they want to do is sit in the house. I don't want to sit in the house. I don't want to sit in the house. I haven't seen you in six weeks. Let's get up and go do something. So we kind of got into it because this person was like, well, I'm tired. I've been gone. I don't want to do anything. I just want to chill in the freaking house and just do nothing. Okay.
so i kind of get upset because it's like you know we planned for two weeks that when you got home we were going to go out and do something so it turned into this whole big argument you don't want to go nowhere okay fine whatever i leave um and i'm one of those people like i don't like to argue when when i want to sit down and have a discussion with you i'm talking to the person exactly like how i'm talking to you guys right now very monotone i don't like to raise my voice and i used to people raising their voice at me so i'm very monotone so i don't like when people yell and all of that or whatever so i kind of just leave so i kind of leave whatever and i end up just going to work i took the whole day off for this person to come home i'm all excited for this person to come home and i take the whole day off but after that i'm like you know what forget this i'm not gonna waste the whole day i'm gonna go to work so after work i'm like you know what let's just discuss this i go i go to this person's house and they're gone mind you this is like at 12 30 at night they're gone and it kind of just like it made me realize like i'm not a priority in your life how do we have an argument about the fact that she don't want to go nowhere and i want to go out somewhere and the first thing you do when i leave is go out and then i text this person and they're at the club so you're tired you don't want to do anything with me. You don't want to go nowhere. You just want to sit in the freaking house. And the first thing you do when I leave is go to the club with your boys. And that was my issue. That was the whole conversation when it was, you know, they didn't want to go out. I was fine with the fact that they didn't want to go out. But my issue was when it comes to their friends, it doesn't matter if this per if she's dreading not wanting to go out. She doesn't want to go out. Oh, I don't want to go to this birthday party. But for her friends, it, there's no such thing as no to her friends. She would tell her friends no and she'll just get up and do it. But when it came to me, rather than just sacrificing and going like she just does with her friends, it's like, with me, it's just automatically no. Like there's no sacrifice of just wanting to go out. So we get into an argument about you not wanting to go out and the first thing you do is go out and then you go clubbing at that after you said you was tired right you guys are feeling me you feeling me so when i think about that the logic of that clearly this wasn't going to work this is not somebody that deserves me but at the end of the day it kind of upsets me because at the same time it's like i still want it to work because i'm sick of starting over i'm sick of starting over like and i know nobody's relationship is perfect i know nobody's relationship is perfect that's why i guess i'm willing to just keep giving people chances like when i was in a relationship with the young man um that had the child he cheated on me with over 20 women, over, over 20 women. But because Alicia is the type of person that doesn't hold a grudge, I'm the type of person that if I'm upset with you, when I wake up in the morning, I'm over it. It's a brand new day. I'm not going to dwell on it. I'm not petty. Like I just, I can't hold on to things. I can't, I can't. I will wake up the next day and I'm completely over it. We're just going to move on. So yeah, I gave a million and one freaking chances clearly. And then the last time I was just like, I'm, I'm done. I should have been done the first time, but 20 people down the line, I'm done. And it's like, I take care of your child. What do these women do for you? You know what I'm saying? You say you always claiming that you, you need a, a mother for your child. And here I am being the mother that you're looking for for your child. And it's not enough. You need to seek other stuff from other people. But once again, Alicia just sticks around sticks around i'm always just sticking around because i don't like the fact that i don't i don't want to be alone so like i said this video is all over the place and crazy but i actually feel a lot better just verbally saying it out loud you know just saying it out loud just it feels good you know and I know I gotta have faith in God. I know, I know I gotta have faith in God. And I do have faith in God, you know? And everybody just says, when you when you need help, just call on Jesus. And I do that a lot. I do that a lot, but sometimes. And I hate to question my God. I hate to question my God, but sometimes, you know, it's just nice to hear. It's nice to just get it. Get a real answer from somebody, you know. It's, it's just nice to talk to somebody that's gonna talk back. So you know, I have my faith, and I I keep the faith. I keep the faith, you know. But it's 
it's hard. It's hard, you know. I'm sorry I look a mess right now, but I just felt like this was just one of those. I just, just needed to have a talk. I just wanted to just, just talk. 